guys welcome back to my channel my name is Janet I hope you guys find yourself well today um we find yourselves great healthy safe um so today's video is going to be all about brands that I want to try in 2021 I have my little list here and I'm so excited to share what I will most likely be purchasing kind of brands that I might want to put a little bit more of a focus on um without overstepping my budget also um so it's not about trying every single item in the brand or a full face of just kind of more of an exploration of the brand what caused me what um pulls my attention what is really interesting what is something that might be unique to my collection i'm really looking for more quality over quantity this year i know like everything's been done so i'm looking for ways more um that are more innovative more interesting things that i don't have in my collection yet that brings some some level of uniqueness to my collection something that i don't already own i don't need the five same shades in another palette <laughs> something like that you know so i hope you consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already and don't forget to give this video a like and follow me on instagram my handle will be down below and in the description box alrighty guys so i did this last year that was my first year and i thought that was a really fun video to do it kind of let me focus and open up my mind and to like more brands than just the ones that are like mainstream and definitely, you know, I, I put a mix of drugstore and high-end. I didn't just do go high-end because I even did luxury last year. I don't think I have any luxury this year, which I'm okay with because luxury, it's, I mean, that's probably something that I will purchase anyway. So it's not something that I need to focus on this year. Alrighty, so I picked out 10 brands, but I don't necessarily mean that I want to, like, like I said, buy a full face of or um buy every single item or just i want things that really really pulled to me this year um very interesting and just uniqueness i'm looking for that x factor <laughs> and makeup <laughs> Alrighty, the first brand is going to be kaleidos i did put it on my list last year and i didn't like take the leap for it i didn't um look into it like i saw palettes that i wanted but i i didn't quite go for it i didn't explore that brand last year i feel like their packaging is really unique really interesting um i like their color stories they're very curated very unique finishes within the small palettes um and the blushes look really interesting too they discontinued some so they probably bring out hopefully this year the brushes they have a brush set that i'm very interested in that hopefully they haven't discontinued at this point um but this is definitely a brand that i definitely definitely want to try this year <laughs> um since this is my second year in the running <laughs> all right the next brand um actually the next couple brands are going to be skincare so let's get skincare out of the way i love skincare i've been getting more skincare i got a ton of skincare for christmas some things that were just repurchases that i thought i was going to repurchase anyway so that per worked out perfect for me and i did get some new ones and i don't think i mentioned this but i did want to do a no buy for um january and so far i've been actually really good about it. very excited to try skincare i've just been loving skincare it's one of my really items products that really pulled to me i i'm looking for the best of the best that works for my skin in every category um i, do, I don't necessarily need a eight ten step routine i just want the best for what is my skin but of course i'm going Striding into it slowly. I don't want to upset my skin in any way. Uh, I kind of, you know, neglected it over the last couple of weeks or two weeks probably. And it showed. I had so many little bumps, especially on my forehead. But now that I've gotten back into my routine, it's definitely um, perking up and coming back to how it was. And it's just winter. Even my oily skin during the winter does get a little bit less oily. <laughs> a, little, a little dry, you could say. All right, so I also have on the list The Ordinary. I really enjoy the fact that they are a really good skincare brand that I've heard reviews here and there, especially from Kelly Gooch. And um, that the fact that they are like affordable, I'm very interested in that. It's just something that really calls to me. They have a ton of things that I wanna try, but we'll see what I actually end up purchasing and trying. Another brand I have on here is Good Molecules. Good Molecules is a brand that I have been looking at since last year. I think was it last year or in 2019 when it first came out. I feel like it has really unique products, very unique formulas, things that really caught to my attention. And another thing, good thing is that it's really good um, affordable skincare, but yet really potent things. And I've heard 
I mean, the reviews that I've heard about the products that I was interested in, they were really good reviews. So I'm looking forward to that one too. All right, the next two brands are going to be more of affordable brands that you know are sold at well specifically at walmart at least the walmart's near me um one of them is hard candy i've heard so many good things about um hard candy this past year like from their primers even to i think like one of their foundations that they have um and their blushes and we know how i feel about blushes their highlights too i think they have a really good like highlight palette um, it's just something that like I feel like they're stepping up their game too and something I want to try and kind of dig into maybe you'll buy a thing a product or two and see how I just want to dip my toe into that brand the next brand is uh, gotten really really big 2019 the end of 2019 and then the entirety of 2020 like this brand has been killing it it seems in the drugstore like they've launched brushes they've launched a ton of good great palettes not good palettes great palettes of course some palettes are better than others i actually have a palette of in this brand so i'm really excited to try it out and just grab a couple more things and this um would be profusion um so i mean they have a ton of palettes with a ton of color stories i was just actually in walmart yesterday and my eyes went to the blushes they have two um blush palettes and they're so so beautiful it looks like they have some with shimmers and some are mattes maybe even satins and then the other thing that really pulls to me are brushes i love brushes i mean i have like a whole container of brushes that i need to um wash right now and i just haven't had a chance to and it's just about to get crazier right now for my in my life um with school and everything but i i'm still interested in their brushes but we'll see what happens and then their foundation too or skin serum or whatever they have their, what it's called it just looks really interesting i haven't seen any reviews on it just because i kind of wanted to do a review on my own so i might stick with that um it was like seven dollars so it's not a super expensive um foundation or anything um so yeah i'm excited about that we'll see what happens and then one other actual like more high-end brand actually the probably the only high-end brand on here is going to be oma beauty oma beauty blew my mind with that foundation you guys like i loved their foundation it is so good i i missed the boat I missed my chance to buy everything for like a discounted price for Black Friday. I chose to buy other things and I just, I'm having makeup regrets, man. I'm having makeup regrets on that big time. I feel like I really missed out on trying even more great products, but this year I plan to try even more from Oma Beauty. I look forward to any new releases that they have. I can't wait off one product. That product was so, so good. It's, it's literally one of my favorite foundations in my entire collection. Um, so I can't even try, wait to try the concealer. The concealer is probably like bomb.com. And their mascara too, probably too. Probably everything. <laughs> but yeah, if you have any recommendations from any of the brands that I've mentioned so far and that I will mention, please let me know down in the comments. I would love some recommendations from you guys on to what to try or what's worth the money or what should i avoid let me know down below or if you have any brands also that you want me to try let me know i'm not done yet but i just wanted to let you know before you know i forget <laughs> all right the next or the last four brands are actually um so save for two i have tr tried their their eyeshadows but I really want to like deep dive into these brands this year because I feel like indie brands are having their moment. And I think that's amazing because what I've tried so far, I can count on one hand what I've tried so far. Their eyeshadows blows my mind. Like the softness that I have in this look that I use and it'll be in a get ready with me is like this is exactly what I was going for when I envisioned this kind of look. And I absolutely love the eyeshadows. They're so easy to work with. And I, I went for a halo eye, but it's such a subtle, soft, ethereal, like, halo eye that it's just... Whew, love it. Um, so, anyways. The first three that I've technically tried, Davina, Terra Moon, and Sydney Grays. I tried one shade from Davina like on my eyes one shade from Davina one from Terra Moon and I have tried more from Sydney Grace so I look forward to trying more but I want to try like their cream shadows I want to try 
um, like, what is it, the cream shadows, more blushes, some of their highlights, anything that I can get my hands on from Sydney Grace, I want to try. And then the last brand that I have on here that I haven't tried anything from is Black Moon Cosmetics. Um, that brand, like, calls me me attention my attention because they are grungy they are spooky they are dark they are delicious brand and it's just i love the colors that they have they have such unique colors especially for the lipsticks and i just it just cost me those colors they just they just call to my dark soul my vampy soul oh so black moon cosmetics again that's a brand that i want to try and i look forward to trying in the new year i mean all of these brands to be honest they had such great sales for black friday it's very tempting to wait till black friday and just save my money and just buy everything that i want but um then but we'll see what happens um i like i said so three of those indie brands i did try items from but i don't feel like it's enough to where like i've tried these i want to continue trying these i really want to like really really deep dive into these um, okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you have any product recommendations or brand recommendations that you guys wanted me to try on camera or purchase a couple items for me to try out, let me know down below. Or any product recommendations from these brands, let me know also. Let me know what's worth it, what's not. Um, anything that you've tried that you loved or didn't, just let me know. I look forward to your comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. And um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Be careful. Be safe. Be healthy. Bye.